All right, greetings, good morning, and welcome to our session today. We, we're going to be looking at PowerPoint. Now, um, there is going to be a lot covered in this video, so I want you to pay attention. This is usually going to be the first um, experience that you have with Microsoft PowerPoint, so I am going to be going through a lot of information. Okay, so when you open up PowerPoint, this is what you will see. And immediately this ribbon section over here looks very familiar okay? because um, what Microsoft, uh, what the Microsoft Office Suite does is it tries to keep a lot of the things familiar um, so that it's easier for you to work in the different programs. So if I click on the Home tab, like you know um, from other versions, you know, like Word and Excel, um, we've got more or less the same layout. Um, it's just that obviously we have a few other uh, tabs as we go along. So what you'll see immediately is when you, you know, open up PowerPoint, you'll have this sort of section on the side here on the left, and this will show you how many slides you have in your presentation. It'll allow you to sort out your slides, delete your slides, and then when you click on a particular slide here in the main window, it'll show you what's actually inside of that slide. At the bottom here, you'll see that we have a section where we can pop in some notes, um, some display settings, some comments, and the different views we have. So here we have our normal view. Um, then when we click on this button here, it's our slide sorter view. That'll show us all the slides we have in our presentation. And then we've got a reading view as well. Obviously, I have, <laughs> I have nothing here at the moment, um, but we're going to sort that out. Right. Okay. Sorry, I just closed that. Okay. So let's pop in a few slides. So if I want to pop in a new slide, I'm going to go up to new slide over here. Um, I'm going to click on that little down arrow. And then you can see I can click on a number of different options. Okay. I can um, insert just a blank slide. I can insert a slide with a title and content section header, whatever you want to. I'm just going to click on blank slide and you can see the difference immediately between the first one and the second one. This is the default that will usually come up um, that will allow you to add a title and a subtitle. So let's say I'm going to put in my title there and I'm going to say cat with Mr. Hambury and as a subtitle um, I'm going to put in PowerPoint. Okay. So you'll see now when I go to the bottom and I go to my slide sorter, what happens? It shows me the number of slides I have. It shows me this is slide number one. This is slide number two. And you can see if I click on it and I hold my left click down and I move it over, I can move um, the or change rather the order of these slides. Right? I can also click on the slide, press delete and get rid of that slide. So it says it's really as, as simple as that to do this. So um, I'm going to create just a few slides and I'm just going to copy and paste because you can copy the contents of one slide and paste and it creates a duplicate slide. OK, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to change this one to, let's say. Uh, let's change that to Excel. Let's then change the next one to MS Word. And then we can change the last one to the infamous Microsoft Access. Okay, so we have those four over there. We've looked now at our layout. And again, you can go to your slide layout tab over here. Remember, this is now where we would insert new slides. You can also on the slide sort of section, right click in a blank uh, section over here and say new slide. When you do that, it will automatically bring in um, the section for your title and uh, your text. But you can highlight that and you can delete it. OK, so you do have those options. Remember, if you want to delete any of your slides, you simply click on it and then we click delete. Now, let's say in my slide, I want to insert a, a header and a footer. And this is something that does get I'm asked regularly within Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Um, I can simply go to my Insert tab, and you can see there I've got new slide again. Right? I can also insert a table. <clears throat> Sorry, a table. I can insert pictures. I mean, I can insert shapes. A lot of these things will be familiar to you. But I'm going to go over here, 
And let's say I want to enter some, some extra text and click on my text box, pop it in there and add in, you know, whatever text I want. Um, I'm going to go to header and footer. So when I click on header and footer, you can see here, um, I've got my slide tab and they're saying to me, include on slide. What do I want to include? Um, do I want to include the slide number? Yes, I want. Do I want to include a footer? Yes. And I'm just going to type in, I am here as my footer. And you can also include the date and time and whether you want it to update automatically. You can apply it to the current slide or all slides. So I'm just going to say um, apply to this one. And there you go. The date, um, the footer and the slide number. Right. You can see when I go to the second slide that it's actually not there. OK, let's go back there. Footer and footer. I can also add um, notes. You can see on my notes and handouts, it gives me some more options. So now it gives me the option to pop in a, a header there as well. Um, and the header, this you will apply to all. And when I go here, you can see I'll have to go to So now I want to change the, the appearance of my slide. And um, what I can do is simply click on the slide that I am on. Um, I can actually then right click inside this and say, I'm just going to use one um, particular option, format background. And with format background here, I can change the background color of my slide. Um, I can say, you know, whether it's a solid fill, whether it's a gradient fill. Um, I can also highlight my text as you would do in in microsoft word right i can change the size i can highlight it i can change the color of the text so all those things remain more or less the same um, as you would have had it in ms word right one of the things that they do ask you is um, relating to the slide size orientation and background so i've dealt with the background remember we're going to format the background and that's where we then change the background, whether it's going to be to all of the slides um, or just one of the slides. So remember I said to you, our insert tab, we've got more or less the same things um, that we've had in, in other versions. What I'm just going to do is go to shapes. And you can see again, we've got the same shapes, but I do want to touch on the um, action buttons over here. So I'm clicking on that one and I'm going to say I want the action button over there. Right. Remember, this is a presentation and here they say to us action on click. Now I can either say there must be no action or hyperlink. Remember, hyperlink takes you somewhere else. I can hyperlink to the next slide. OK, or I can say that it must play a sound or, you know, whatever, whatever I need to do there. Now I'm going to click OK. Now. When I click on this now, it does nothing. Why? Because I have to go into the slideshow view. When I do that, sorry, I'm just going to swap that. Right? You'll see my mouse pointer changes. And now when I click on it, it takes me to my next slide. So you can have a number of these action buttons going through um, your slides, and then you can say, you know, exactly what it needs to do. Okay, then the last little thing, let's just go through these tabs. So we've got insert. Um, like I said, you insert a text box, word art. You can insert video and audio. We'll be doing this in um, another video. Um, on the design side, here I can change the design. You can see that as I move my mouse pointer over, the design of um, my presentation as well. So they give you a number of these templates over there. 
Here you can also change the background of your, sli of your slides. And then if I go to slide size, I can change the size over here. But if I go to custom slide size, you'll see that I can um, design it for letter, for A4, for you know a banner, whatever I want. I can change the width and the height. I can say you know, the number of slides. I can change whether it's going to be portrait or landscape, whether it's going to be for notes, hands out, sorry, handouts and um, outline. So all of this, it, it just depends on what they ask you in the question paper. I just want you to know exactly where these things are. We are going to be covering transitions and animations in um, the next video. Um, but for now, that's basically all you need to know. The slideshow um, tab, this is where you would obviously want to have a look at what your slideshow looks like. So here you can see I can click on my slideshow and I'm saying that I want to have a look at it from the beginning. And you'll see every time you click on your presentation, it takes you to the next slide, right? Go on from there. You can also do it from the current slide. This is when you are now basically um, wanting to have a look at what your presentation looks like. Um, and taking it from there. You can reverse timings, you can even record it, you can add narrations to it, all those type of things, but we'll do that in an upcoming video. So, great tens, this is just the first look at Microsoft PowerPoint.